Ellen loves people and she loves talking. She also loves to lend a listening ear. She is enjoying Toastmasters and is excited to present speech number three titled, A Safe Place to Land. And her speech is five to seven minutes, is that correct? Let's welcome Ellen. And when one of us fails or shoves our foot in our mouth, that we are that safe space to land. Several years ago, when my kids would frustrate me or do something naughty, I would grab my phone, call up my mom or my sisters, and I would vent like an Italian grandmother. Until one day, my husband came up to me with my two oldest girls and said, honey, we need to talk. Okay. What's up? He explained to me that the girls didn't feel safe with me because whenever they would screw up, I would call and I would gossip about them, about my own children. That was hard for me to stomach because I knew I was guilty as charged. I was ashamed of myself and my behavior and it took me several hours to process and be able to release that shame and realize that more than anything, I wanted to be that safe person for them. I wanted them to go tell me anything in the world, and I'm not going to overreact. Not only does my husband talk the talk, but he also walks the walk. He's incredible. One day, okay, I'm prefacing this with I am very creative. I love to create, and I also love recognition. So, for instance, I'm at home creating a new reading nook or I'm refinishing a dresser, and then when Mike gets home, he tells me how amazing I am. Totally works for both of us. So I was trying to hang a shelf in my son's bedroom, and I'm pretty handy. I can put an anchor and a screw into the wall. Not that hard, but this was not any ordinary shelf. I didn't know how to do this, and the best I got was about that angle off the wall. <laughs> it was not gonna hold books. I just swallowed my pride and asked my now keep in mind, these kind of projects aren't his thing. They're my thing. He doesn't get excited about it. As we are trying to mount this shelf on the wall, our success rate is just going down. And my frustration is going up, and it's starting to boil because I am so mad at myself that I couldn't do it by myself, and I had to ask a man for help. <laughs> <laughs> and then I had to make him grumpy because now he's getting grumpy because he can't figure it out either. And after about 15 minutes of trying to mount the shelf on the wall, it, it wasn't happening. And I yelled. <laughs> and I said, forget it! It's not going to happen! And I left, as I chucked the shelf against the wall, I left a gaping hole. And my kids' eyes <laughs> white as saucers. Before I could do any more damage, I fled. I went for a walk to cool off. And my anger descended into shame, and I was in a dark place. And those voices were talking to me. Wow, you won an award today for best mom. You just were a great example for your kids. Wow, look what you showed them. This is where I was at for about two hours. And as it started to darken outside, 
I decided to return home, but I'm scared. I was preparing myself for the worst, for a scolding that I rightly deserved, for my husband to tell me that was really immature of you. Or worse, for everyone to walk on eggshells because mom is crazy. <laughs> As I trepidatiously approached the porch, I saw my husband on the porch waiting for me. And I looked up at him, and I didn't see blame in his eyes. I saw something else. I saw compassion, and I saw love. He threw his arms around me, and he said, Honey, it's okay. I'm so sorry. Maybe our love was bigger than a few angry words, and a tantrum could undo. Our kids then came in for a group hug, and they assured me that they forgave me too and loved me just the same. This is who I am surrounded by, an incredible husband who is unconditional, who loves me, who forgives me, and he teaches my kids <coughs> that love and compassion are the answers to anger and hurt and pain. I ask you to look at your relationships. What have you created in your relationships? Are you that safe person? Are you trustworthy? Can they tell you? Can they communicate with you? And if, it, if you're not, I challenge you to go into look within yourself and make some changes so that the next time one of your loved ones flails and then fails, you can be the 